the streets, everybody's on his phone. I'm sitting in a train, everyone's socialized by his own. Staring at their tablets, watching movies on their laptops. Playing, chatting, or listening to music with your iPods. I'm in a restaurant, everyone takes pictures of his food. And those who don't, tweet about their current mood. We're living in a world where when you had a bad day, and you meet someone, he won't see you, you're okay. He's too busy talking about Kim Kardashian, who got thinner. People who divorced and Justin Bieber ate for dinner. We're living in a world where children grow up with iPads instead of going out, playing football with their dads. Where children can explain you how to use a smartphone, but don't know how to entertain themselves without their eyes. Do you look on your phone? 8, 12, 35? How about starting to live and not only spending your time by being alive? Your phone isn't an animal, it doesn't need to be fed. I wonder if your daily Facebook post or something like that. Remember when going to a concert meant to live was at the close? Another 2 gigabytes of pictures and videos on our smartphones. Social media and slaves of technology. Our moods based on the percentage of our iPhone's battery. Use your phone to call your parents, saying them your fan. Or telling them you come later because they're having a great time. And then put it back in your pocket, not using it for a while. The next time you take your friends into a bar, keep your phones as much as possible for. Put them all in a bag on a table where you're sitting around. And the one who wants to look into his phone, pays the next round. Social media and slaves of technology Making as much experience as possible Is the only key To get out of this corrupting influence is completely isolation We're all sitting in an invisible cage made out of manipulation If you meet people, even those you don't know, why is it so hard to smile just a little hello? It won't hurt when you leave the train, to wish them next to you, to have a nice day. Just a little bit of politeness in the world of oblivion, could change a lot, could change someone's vision. Victims of social media and slaves of technology Living life like robbers using the night to load energy Controlled food made out of more and more selfishness More and more heartless people bringing it to bitterness when you're old and wrinkled and you find these photos from your younger years you and your best friends raising your glasses like you never knew worries like you never knew fears you and your first love with the look in your eyes like you are sure they will last forever it will bring you back even to the moment you said you won't fall in love again never ever your first holidays with our parents 
you and your friends arms in arms with those one million dollar smiles. At this moment, you remember everything. The disgusting food, the sleepless nights, all those backpacker miles. The one picture of spring break where Jamie jumped in cold water and Leo called shout. Believe me that one day, when age isn't just a number anymore, these are the memories that count. Not your everyday self, your standard text conversations or the scores you achieved in a game. Times change, people change, and you won't be the same. You lose heart and your legs be lame. You will look back and realize there are lots of things you can never catch up once you missed it. So stop looking on your phone and start to live while you're young and free and never ever be as dumb to quit. Not as long as you can. Not as long as you can do. Not as long as you can. Not as long as you can do.